today, there may be a possible breakthrough in Huntington's disease. A discovery, almost discovered by accident, showed that Huntington's disease has to do with a defect in the manufacturing of a certain amino acid. Now, keep in mind, this amino acid that they supplemented with after, this I should say this was done by John Hopkins, neuroscientist, slowed the disease down and it has not been tested in humans yet. But as a service of those with Huntington's disease, on a very simple amino acid with virtually no side effects, I think you should know. And this is what it came down to. Brain degeneration and Huntington's disease caused by amino acid deficiency was the headline of the article. That amino acid they discovered was L-cysteine, something fairly found, commonly found in foods and on the same time too held food store shelves. This is how it arrived. They identified what they believe was a cause of vast degeneration of parts of the brain called the corpus striatum. In rodents and people with Huntington's disease, disease lo lose the ability to make the amino acid cysteine. They found that the disease progression slowed in mice that were fed a diet rich in cysteine which was found in foods such as wheat germ and whey protein. Now keep in mind certain amino acids can block the absorption of cysteine so I would like to see them do a study with cysteine administered this by itself to see what happens. This study was published on the online publication of Nature March 26. The precise reasons for the degeneration, as the research said, is still a mystery to them. But this discovery, again, was by accident. Normally, they were looking at other amino acids that were causing the degeneration of uh, the corpus striatum and cysteine just came basically out of the blue to them. They also said people with Huntington's disease carry mutant, what's called Huntington proteins. Snyder's team saw that the mutant proteins were attaching themselves to crucial proteins responsible for turning off the C uh, CSE gene on or off, which ultimately led the diseased rodents and human brain tissues to be deprived of cysteine. The CSE loss of cysteine was directly responsible for the symptoms associated with Huntington's disease. The John Hopkins team turned directly to the food sources of cysteine and fed them the mice a cysteine-rich diet, in which case they know it slowed the progression of the disease down significantly. It is clear that a high cysteine diet merely slows rather than halts to keep in mind. But, however, it's a start, it's a treatment, it's something that can continue to increase the quality of life, and who knows, it may lead to something greater. But for now, they definitely know there's something wrong with Huntington's disease when it comes to the manufacture of the amino acid cysteine. Thanks once again, and signing off.